if you say that you're going to do something, if you have decided something, execute on this decision. Implement no nonsense management. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I am changing founders into leaders. If you like the contents of my video, please give us a like, share the video, and subscribe by clicking on the red button underneath the video. This video is part two, actually, of my little series about how to manage your business more effectively. And here are now the tips five to 10. Tip number six, control your cost. It is unbelievably important that you regularly control your cost. Think twice before you spend money. I know when you are well financed and you know maybe one hundreds of thousands or millions are streaming in because you have a great idea. It is very, very easy to spend the money on marketing, on this, that, and the other. Please remember to think well about your investments and then also control the cost. And if necessary, reduce the cost because every single euro or dollar that you're saving in your cost base is actually $1 more of profit. Please keep this in mind, clear cost control very important. Tip number seven is eliminate waste. Always ask yourself, are certain things important? Is, for example, a tray of fruit every day on the table of your uh, conference room, is that really necessary? Is it necessary that you have certain perks uh, for uh, the, the people in your team. <clears throat> is it necessary to always take a taxi or could you also take the uh, public transport to go to the airport? <clears throat> think about all these things. Always think about alternatives where you can actually waste less money, waste less time to, uh, and by that eliminate the waste and uh, again have an, a positive effect on controlling your cost. Tip number eight is focus on one thing. Even though the demands on you and on your business might be complex, they will be complex, there will be a lot of things to do. Always ask yourself, what is the one thing that I need to do right now to improve the situation and take it step by step in baby steps. So concentrate on one thing at a time. By the way, the whole concept of multitasking, that's a myth, you know, we are all of us, we are not very good at multitasking. And by the way, that includes women, just as an extra added information for you. If you say that you're going to do something, if you have decided something, execute on this decision. Implement no nonsense management. No nonsense means that you are, you, are, you are very firm in your decisions and you make them happen. You do not uh, accept uh, BS bingo easily. Uh, you concentrate <clears throat> on the facts and you rigorously implement what you have decided. You are rigorous and you apply a non-nonsense management style that is very, very important to manage your business effectively. And tip number 10 is stretch your team, give them really stretching targets that uh, they are aiming for and also cherish them. So when your team has <clears throat> achieved something, tell them that they have well done, cherish them, have a party in terms of uh, in, in times of success, if you have, for example, closed a large deal or if, um, if a, a new release of your software has been finished successfully and in time, cherish your, team, your team's performance and really um, give a lot of praise. That is really very important. As a summary, part two of the 10 tips to manage your business effectively. Tip number six was control cost. Number seven, eliminate waste. Number eight, focus on one thing at a time. Number eight, be rigorous, no nonsense. And number 10, stretch and cherish your team. If you would like to learn more about how you can manage your business more effectively, 
how you can actually avoid the overwhelming moments of the complexities of your business, how you can sell more, sell more profitably, lead your company and your teams in a more effective way, feel free to apply for a free session with me. We are going to have a chat for about 30 minutes, one hour, as long as you like really, to create a plan on how you are getting from your current situation to the future. You can apply by clicking on the link underneath this video. We will then see if we are a good fit and we will have this chat. It's non-salesy. It hasn't got anything to do with selling my programs to you or my coaching. It's just about me helping you. If you then have more trust in me and my capacities, I'm more than happy to help you and to work with you on a longer term basis, but that is by no means my intention There's going to be no push. The life program actually helps you to learn all these things within weeks, all the tips, methods, tricks and tools of successful entrepreneurial leadership. And um, that will give you a lot of inspiration to make your company more successful. This was Armin L. Rao from Elan Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.